Pluto-Neptune. Collision, Cosmic Catastrophe, or Celestial Ballet. Pluto is a far-off and subtle planet that once appeared as an unassuming piece of the nearby planetary structure. However, recent and unsettling declarations by leading astrophysicists, Mikio, Kaku, Neil deGrasse Tyson, have brought Pluto back into the spotlight. They suggest that this distant world may be on a potential collision course with Neptune. But how is that even possible? And what could be the effects of such a massive event? Are we witnessing a baffling, immense whimsy of the cosmos? Or is there something more to this upcoming, unending catastrophe? Join us as we consider the possible outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune collision. Pluto, once classified as a planet, but later renamed a dwarf planet, remains a popular subject in our vast universe. Ongoing speculations, based on the analysis of prominent astrophysicists, suggest that Pluto's orbit is risky, uncomfortably near Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Mikio Kaku are both raising the alarm about a potentially dangerous incident involving these two planets, an event that may pose a monstrous liability even to Earth. But again, how is such an event possible? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike that of any other planet in our solar system. It takes a stunning 248 years to complete just one orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, it has yet to complete a full revolution around the Sun. And the intrigue doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is particularly remarkable for its eccentricity. It strays widely from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. Additionally, Pluto's orbital inclination is steep, about 17 degrees into the ecliptic plane, making it even more unpredictable than most planets. This irregularity adds layers of complexity to its orbital pattern. One of the most fascinating aspects of Pluto's orbit is its convergence with Neptune's. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, contrary to what we might expect from their general positions in the solar system. This naturally leads to the question, why hasn't Pluto crashed into Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational dynamics of planetary motion. The study of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery. Unlike the orbits of other planets, which remain close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stands out with its steep and erratic tilt. As researchers began to realize the extent of its deviation, the mystery deepened. Pluto's orbit does cross Neptune's. Yet the stability of Pluto's orbit, even with these complex dynamics, attests to the intricacies of celestial mechanics. This scenario involves what physicists call the three-body problem. Understanding how three celestial objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, influence one another through gravitational forces Predicting their paths is like solving an enormous puzzle, where each piece affects the others in constantly shifting ways. In Pluto's case, its orbit is shaped by its relationship not just with Neptune, but also with the Sun's gravity. Three key concepts help explain the apparent stability. Non-simultaneous vibration, orbital precession, and VZK wobbling. Non-simultaneous vibration refers to the rhythm in which Pluto and Neptune travel through space. When Pluto is inside Neptune's orbit, it remains at least 90 degrees ahead or behind Neptune, preventing close approaches. Orbital precession refers to the gradual rotation of Pluto's orbit over time. This means that when Pluto comes close to Neptune or other massive planets, it is actually far above or below their orbital plane, minimizing collision risk. ZK wobbling, named after scientists Zell, Kai, and Kaku, describes how gravitational Pressure from the Sun, Neptune, and Pluto causes subtle rhythmic shifts in orbit. This wobbling helps maintain long-term orbital stability. Even though Pluto's orbit appears chaotic, these stabilizing mechanisms ensure it moves smoothly over extended time periods. The VZK swaying proves that, even in a universe full of chaos, gravitational laws maintain a surprising degree of order. Thanks to these forces, Pluto neither collides with Neptune nor deviates significantly from its course. The three-body problem remains central to understanding how gravitational tugs subtly reshape orbits. In the 1980s, 
Mathematical simulations revealed that Pluto's orbit is not as stable as once thought. It's actually chaotic over the long term, with small deviations accumulating into larger shifts over millennia. And yet, it remains generally stable over extremely long time horizons. Later computational assessments deepened our understanding of how giant planets like Jupiter, Neptune, and Saturn influence Pluto's path around the Sun. Pluto and Neptune are locked in a special resonance. For every two orbits Pluto completes, Neptune completes three. This relationship is key to maintaining stability. But Neptune isn't working alone. Jupiter's immense gravity also plays a crucial role. Saturn, too, contributes. These gas giants seem to operate in harmony, ensuring Pluto continues to travel safely through the cosmos. Without this gravitational choreography, our solar system would be a far more dangerous place. Bodies like Pluto might crash into other planets or be ejected entirely from their orbits, triggering massive disruptions across the system. For Pluto, especially with current concerns about a future collision with Neptune, understanding its orbit is essential. It provides a clearer picture of the dynamic, complex, and often beautiful patterns that govern planetary motion. The immediate solar system, the case of Pluto, shows how seemingly unstable orbits are capable of reaching equilibrium through the intricate interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of constant observation and analysis of these peculiarities to better understand our place in the universe. Examining the depth of space frequently requires us to confront peculiar characteristics of celestial bodies. Moreover, Pluto's orbit is an ideal example of this anomaly. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the delicate reliance of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions, is clearly demonstrated by Pluto. This means that even minute adjustments to the speed or position of a dwarf planet can significantly alter its long-term orbit. The utilization of automated simulations has been immensely helpful for researchers in determining how Pluto moves through space. These simulations use complex math to describe how Pluto and other space objects, like Neptune, pull on each other. By tweaking small details in the simulations, scientists are able to see how even the smallest changes can result in significant differences in Pluto's final location. These simulations used in the late 1980s, demonstrated something intriguing about Pluto's orbit. Despite having features like orbital resonance and asynchronous vibration precession to maintain its stability, Pluto's orbit can continue to be erratic and unusual. If you start with only a small difference in where Pluto is, or how fast it's moving, its orbit could end up looking completely different after just a couple of years. Yet, despite this chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable over enormous timescales, such as billions of years. This means that Pluto's journey around the Sun, while wild in appearance, follows a certain order. Predicting celestial movements, particularly when they involve irregular orbits like Pluto's, is a massive challenge. The inherent inconsistency of these systems means that long-term predictions are often filled with uncertainties. While mathematical models provide excellent tools for understanding and predicting the future movements of celestial bodies, they also expose the limitations of our predictive capabilities. These models heavily rely on the accuracy of initial conditions. Furthermore, even a minor error or distortion can result in completely different outcomes, making precise forecasts a daunting task. In addition to the chaotic nature of planetary orbits, Pluto reminds us of the ever-changing and dynamic nature of the universe. While we've made tremendous progress in understanding space, Pluto's case serves as a reminder of how much our knowledge of the universe still remains limited. Grasping the gravitational effects of the giant planets on Pluto's orbit provides useful hints about the larger dynamics of the solar system. It shows how the presence and position of each planet can significantly affect the stability and trajectories of other bodies within the system. So why are leading astrophysicists recently raising concerns regarding a possible collision between Pluto and Neptune? Despite all these complex forces working to prevent this, Neil deGrasse Tyson, a prominent astrophysicist and a major figure in advancing cosmology, provides a one-of-a-kind perspective on the mysteries of our solar system. 
specifically the fascinating case of Pluto. Tyson, known for his role in renaming Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, offers insightful analysis on the evolving nature of celestial mechanics and the public's interest in the forgotten corners of the cosmos. His position on Pluto's renaming is based on our ever-growing knowledge of the solar system. He sees the renaming not as a reduction, but as an essential adjustment to our developing understanding of the various bodies orbiting the Sun. Tyson's strategy for celestial mechanics is one of continual change and learning. He views the complexities of orbits like Pluto's as a sign of how much there is still to discover in space. The fascination with these questions keeps the study of space so exciting. Nevertheless, despite Tyson's optimism, his thoughts on Pluto's potential collision with Neptune paint a distinct picture. His concerns about the fate of Pluto, once a planet, are based on his understanding of the unpredictable nature of these orbits. Tyson acknowledges that while Pluto's orbit has remained stable thus far over time, even subtle shifts could result in catastrophic occurrences. Pluto's journey, particularly its integration with Neptune's orbit, is an intricate cosmic dance that might or might not stay the same. In Tyson's view, even small perturbations in Pluto's orbit could have significant lasting effects. If these shifts accumulate over millions of years, they could eventually result in a more unpredictable outcome, potentially even a collision with Neptune. However, these things would not happen soon. Rather, they would unfold over long stretches of time, far beyond human lifetimes. Despite this, Tyson's cautionary stance emphasizes the importance of keeping an eye on Pluto and understanding its orbital dynamics. His views are not exclusive. Theoretical physicist Michio Kaku also contemplates the potential chaos that could occur from planetary interactions within the solar system. While Kaku shares Tyson's enthusiasm for exploring the wonders of the universe, he also recognizes the inherent orbital instability and the unforeseen effects that could emerge over time. Tyson and Kaku both stress the importance of ongoing research into the forces that govern planetary motion and the future of our solar system. Ultimately, the case of Pluto serves as a reminder that our comprehension of the cosmos is ever-evolving, and that new discoveries often lead to more questions than answers. As astrophysics continues to develop, the possibility of an event like a Pluto-Neptune collision reminds us that space holds many unexpected features, and planets' seemingly tranquil orbits can be subject to dramatic changes in the future. These reflections on Pluto remind us of the importance of keeping our eyes trained on the stars and our minds open to the mysteries that still lie ahead.